Hello. So uh, we heard a lot about uh, sensors, uh, cameras, connected cars, autonomous cars, but only few people think of the technology and architectures that are required in order to connect all these devices together. So today I would like to talk about the in-car connectivity, and I will start with a short video clip that will explain the problem that we solve. So in our, in our car today, we have uh, one, two, or three displays, one camera and a few sensors, about 100 ECUs, and the cars are connected at best to a 4G uh, mobile network. But in the future, we are, we are going to have many more displays, more than uh, 30 sensors. M uh, we will need much more power, uh, computing power, and the car will connect to 5G network that will uh, enable much higher bandwidth. If we look at the, an entry-level uh, architecture of uh, cars, what we can see is few ECUs. Each one of them is connected to a very limited number of peripherals. Usually, every ECU is connected to the same type of peripherals, like uh, cameras, sensors, or, or displays. When we move to more advanced cars, we just duplicate the same architecture again and again. It brings us to a very costly, complex, and hard-to-install architecture. But what are, go are we going to do in the future? Can we just keep duplicating it again and again? Probably not, because the car will explode. So a different approach is required, and this is centralized computing, or what some people call data center on the wheels. Here we have a few powerful computing units Connect, each one of them connected to a lot of uh, peripherals, different kind of peripherals. And these computing units also connect between themselves in order to share computing power, to share memory and storage resources, and to, to enable redundancy. But in order to enable this kind of architecture, a new technology, new connectivity technology is required. A connectivity technology that will not just enable a higher bandwidth, but at the same time will enable and feature all the other items that you, you see here on the slide. The problem is that the higher the bandwidth is, the more challenging it is to implement all the other items, in, items on this slide. So this is the time to introduce the AGBST automotive technology, technology that is an, an enabler to, to all these uh, new use cases and devices that need to be connected in the car. Unlike with other technologies, where each different, every kind of uh, different stream requires different technology to, to, uh, to transmit it, like audio, video, and different uh, chips, with AGB, AGBST we can converge all these different streams into a single cable. And the same, the same technology, the same chipset, supports all these kinds of streams. And the interfaces for, each, for all these streams are embedded into the Valence chip. So one does not need to build a very complicated system around our chip in order to enable all these many, many use cases. And there are more advantages. With the same technology, we can do symmetrical links, like between the ECUs, and asymmetrical links, for example, between the cameras and the ECU. We support very high bandwidth. We, uh, we, we uh, enable point-to-point as well as networking topologies with the same technology. The technology is very robust and compliant with EMC and other very demanding requirements that uh, we have in the automotive market. All these, uh, all, all, all these advantages 
enable us to support a, a wide range of use cases and applications. Telematics, connecting the USB ports in the car, the antenna, the, the displays in the car. ADAS, connecting the cameras, the different sensors in the cars, and networking. So this is the time to introduce Valence, the company that is behind all, uh, this technology. Valence is a fabulous semiconductor company. We started with a totally different uh, market, with a professional audio-video market, when we became very quickly leader in this market. We are shipping millions of chips every year to our customers, gener generating tens of millions of dollars every year. Our, most of our 350 employees are based in our headquarters in Israel. While we have presence in eight different countries with, a, with a salespeople, customer support people, as well as business development. So you can see that, that Valence is not just a, a company with a great technology, we also have the, uh, uh, the experience and the infrastructure to support our customers with mass production products. Thank you very much.